it was poised to be a titanic mother versus daughter contest in the Makweni Senate by election to be held on the 22nd of July. And when time comes, then I will announce. The late Senator Mutula Kilonzo's widow Nduko was to face off with her stepdaughter lawyer Kathy Kilonzo, but that may not happen after all. The Wiper Party, on whose ticket the late Kilonzo had captured the Makweni Senate seat in the March 4th polls, has, according to a source, opted to ask Kathy to withdraw her candidature. And Duko Kethi contest, according to top Wiper Party officials, could split the family of the party's late Secretary General. She's not running. You're the one who's running the at the moment, yes. Nduko's entry into the Makweni Senate race has complicated the equation for Kathy, who until yesterday was deemed to be Wiper Party's preferred candidate. Makweni County members of parliament and Wiper Party officials had already begun strategizing on how to campaign for her. Uh, Kiti cha Senator Hasa, kiaitaji wakili, manake lazima Senator asaidie county uh, kuhusu mambo ile sheria inatungwa ka county, lazima iwe na, mwishima, na Kathy Kilonzo. Ndiye ambaye sasa ni wakili, ambaye watu wa makweni wamesema wanamtaka kusimama kiti ya Senate. Wiper Party Chairman David Musila, who represents Kitui County in the Senate, says the party has not yet identified its flag bearer. Musila told Citizen TV the party was also playing a wait-and-see game as it keeps tabs on who the candidates that the other parties will be fielding. We have chosen uh, as, as a party to interview candidates and make a selection. Thereafter, we will issue a certificate. Musila disclosed that so far, four people had expressed interest in succeeding Kilonzo on the party's ticket, and the research was being conducted to ascertain who among them was more popular with the electorate. Among those interested is retired Lieutenant General Jones Mutui, who has successfully vied for the McQueen governor seat. Former provincial administrator Wilfred Ndolo is also in the race, as well as Benson Kiyoko Kithuku. Musila disclosed that the party will give a direct nomination to its preferred candidate. The Jubilee Coalition is keen on fielding one candidate to enhance its chances of beating the Wiper Party's candidate in the July 22nd race. It was widely believed that Kilonzo's widow would be fronted by Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu's NAC after a voice believed to be Ngilu's was captured urging Duku to confirm that she was in the race. Are you running for, for the same? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> what party are you? According to NAC's new leader, Kiyama Kilonzo, the party has already settled on former Kibwezi lawmaker Professor Philip Kaloki. He was unsuccessful in his Makwende gubernatorial bid. Ben Mulwa of the Kenya National Congress will also be trying his luck again in the Senate seat. He was among those trounced by Kilonzo in the March polls. Former Kilome member of parliament Harun Mwau has also thrown his hat in the ring for a second time on a peak ticket. He was the late Kilonzo's main challenger in the March 4th Senate contest. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live, at 9.